It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Recently we did the Carolina Reaper chicken strips from Iceland. They're now back with some chicken chunks. Carolina Reaper limited edition. Three pound for a bag. It's not bad. They weigh... What do they weigh? 500 grams. It's not too bad. Uh, and they go in the oven for 25 minutes. I say recently, it was about six months ago. Let's get them in the oven, see what we get. Hot and spicy chicken chunks. Have a listen, are ready. Sizzling away. But yeah, there you go, look at those. Boiling hot. I like a bit of Carolina Reaper. This is my lunch. Carolina Reaper chicken chunks for lunch. Thank you very much to the lovely person on Facebook who sent me the message to say that these were just launched in Iceland. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Without further ado, well, let's break it open. Ooh, boiling hot. Nice white meat. Mmm. Lovely crunchy batter. And then it is. Mmm. A nice. I want to talk. I want to talk about the chicken first before we get into that. Oof, that Carolina Reaper. The chicken is so soft and lovely and delicate and beautiful. Mmm. Carolina Reaper, well. Oh. Yeah, they're hot. Very hot. I'm a little bit kind of like, it's probably the re-release of them to say new. That's the reason why Iceland had done this. They were strips, Carolina Reaper chicken strips. By calling them chunks, they're able to put a new badge on and, well, sell some. That's the point. Here's another one. Again, boiling hot, straight out the oven. That's how we like to do things here. Yeah, lovely looking chicken. Mm. And it's a nice heat, a really nice heat. It's not kind of, well, we got a warning sign. Fiery chili breadcrumbs coating, very hot. They are hot. They are kind of getting me to gasp a little bit. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's a pleasant heat. Like a lot of you, You've probably seen me reviewing the the Samyang nuclear fire noodles. I'm just about to finish the whole range of them. And blimey, they were hot. They were like top lip, sweating. And there's not that much going on here. But at the same time, I'm quite, I'm quite thankful of that. I'm quite fa thankful that, yeah, there's a warning badge. The word scarily spicy Carolina Reaper here. Should they be hotter? Probably, if I'm being perfectly honest. But I'm not saying they're not hot. I just think my my tolerance to chili has gone through the roof at the moment. And that's like anything in life. 
It's just practice. Practice eating hot foods and your palate will adjust to that. That spice, that kick, that, that loveliness that is chilli. Now, I'm getting like a zesty kind of little bit of sweet kind of fruity flavours from this Carolina Reaper and that's what happens when you finally get on terms with a with a massive kind of hot spicy chilli you start tasting other things rather than just the spice mm. but they are tremendous with a beer this would just be just terrific and this reviewing this food this chicken something else I want to mention is this is coming off the back of Veganuary I've always mentioned to you guys watching that I'm not a I'm not a vegan I'm not a hundred percent vegan um, I did it because it was a bit of a hot topic people wanted to see stuff on YouTube so I did that and I think I've lost a little bit of weight which I'm happy about but I'm glad it's over I'm, I'm really pleased that this is over I'm pleased that I'm able to to eat some chicken again this the substitutes and I had a lot of comments in the comments box about it the substitute the cheese substitutes the chicken substitutes the the even the tuna substitutes the fish substitutes the the burger and the, the sausage roll substitutes the, the steak bake substitutes it was all very good but people kept on saying why are people so why are vegans so obsessed with 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 meat based foods that they have to keep recreating sorry scratchy head I'm not trying to be like Laurel from from Laurel and Hardy um, just yeah why do they re keep recreating these these foods when when they should just concentrate on making bean salads or something like that which I have been enjoying but anyway, back to the chicken. This is February now. Maybe we should call it Chicken February or, or something. <laughs> Meat Tuesdays. Meat Wednesdays. Mmm. Succulent chicken. Crispy batter. Oh, that was, that one there was considerably hotter than the rest. Oh, that was really kind of, and that was building. And I suppose this is what happens with this type of food. You, you keep eating it and then you could, you're building up your, your chilli levels. Let's see if that top lip is getting a, get a bit of a glisten. I can feel it starting to glisten. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Nothing like the Samyang, as I mentioned, or nothing like eating a whole Carolina Reaper, which we've also done. But it's a slow builder. It's a slow spice builder. Mmm. Good, very good. Right, all of a sudden. Oh. I think because they're cooling down, I'm able to eat them faster. That I'm eating them faster, and I'm like, whoa, the chili's getting on top of me a little bit. Not a bad lunch, though, for three pound. I chucked the whole bag in. The reason why I chucked the whole bag in was because 
I live with three women, two daughters and a wife. And they will not go near this stuff. Not for not for a million pound would they go near this stuff. So it's just me. And I thought, I'm not gonna put half a bag in. I'm gonna whack the whole bag in. Maybe put some foil on the ones that I don't eat and just snack on them throughout throughout the evening. Mmm. Okay, so, if you like your spice, see they're not so, they're not so steamy now as they're biting into them. Oh, a little bit. Oh, hmm. Ooh, yeah, they, they're now they now they're building. I'm going to carry on because I was going to end the video, but I want to. I'm trying to make my my face go all red and sweaty, and I can see it happening. So I'm going to carry on. Oh. Terrific! Loving it! Loving it, loving it! Then he started singing then, the old 1990s song. <laughs> or early 2000s. Oh. I can feel it in my stomach now as well, burning. First gasp, first real kind of like, ooh, ooh they're warm. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, there you go. There's the Carolina Reaper there. That's a, that's showing, look, red face. Sweating top lip. Woo! Okay. Um, we'll check the ingredients just to see how much Carolina Reaper is in here. What? It's really odd. That looks like, I don't know, what would that be? 90% chicken you're thinking? 90% chicken breast? It's only 60% chicken breast. The, the rest is like wheat flour and, and wheat and flour and calcium and iron and everything else, rapeseed oil and semolina. So crushed chili seeds, Paprika extra, right here we go, Carolina Reaper chili powder. So there's a Carolina Reaper chili powder that's, that's, that's in here. That's, yeah, it's this, this doing this, this, this sweatiness to the top lip. <laughs> Filling up now as well. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, dabbing now. Now we're dabbing. Right, rating. There's a few left. I'm going to finish them off. I'm going to eat the lot. I'm not going to let them cool down. I'm just going to whack them down. Rating. I really like them. They're really, really good. I like them enough to give them a stone the crows. They were three pound, and that's for 500 grams. Half a kilo of of, of chicken. Carolina chicken breast nugget things really good. I like them enough to give it for three pound that stone the crows nine out of ten So nine out of ten from real ale craft beer Please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers